everybody, I am here today in my living room and I am here to talk about my summer beauty favorites. I did a spring beauty favorites and it seemed to be very popular and a lot of girls asked for summer. So I thought I would let you know the products that I am using now that it is getting warmer. It is actually already pretty much summer here in LA. So these are products that I am currently using. I know it's still cool in some other parts of the country, but hopefully you guys enjoy these products this summer. So the first product I have, you guys saw in my skincare video that I just posted last week, and this is Benigma All-in-One Face Cream. A lot of people asked questions about this and I didn't talk about it much in that video, so I thought I would answer them here. Um, it is made with bee venom and manuka honey, and no bees are harmed in the making of this cream. I did have a lot of people ask if this was um, cruelty free to the bees and don't worry, no bees were harmed in the making of this. Um, I don't know how they milk bees of their venom, but apparently that is what they do. But it also has shea butter in it. It's really great for super soft skin. It plumps your skin up and it also helps your skin to create more collagen. So it helps with aging and fine lines and all of those things that most of us ladies should be worried about. It's also made in New Zealand, which is awesome. I love my New Zealand ladies. Uh, if you do have oily skin, they recommend that you only use this once a day versus twice a day. My skin right now, especially in the summertime, is oily, so I would say use it once a day at nighttime right before bed, just like I did in my um, skincare video. You can also use it as a base ball if you want. I wouldn't recommend it because this is a glass container and will probably break somebody's face off. Their face will actually come off. Face. So next product I have, this is actually a product I have used forever. Um, I noticed in my early 20s I started getting really bad back breakouts and I didn't know what it was from. So I got this Body Clear Body Wash. It's by Neutrogena. They used to make it in orange. It was like the same color as their orange face wash. But now they make this pink grapefruit version and it smells amazing. It's the best thing in the morning if you're kind of groggy and you pop this little bad boy open and it smells really good. It's got salicylic acid in it, basically the same stuff in their face wash but it's made for your body it has little um body beads in it and it's great for body breakouts so I definitely suggest this sucker next is something i'm actually wearing right now which is this whitening lightening color your smile lip gloss this is fiji um i love this lip gloss mostly because i really love the color as you can see it is a nice hot pink color but it's not super aggressive unless you layer it over a hot pink lip liner so you can kind of wear it both ways and you don't necessarily have to line your lips to wear it the other cool thing about this packaging is that it has a mirror right here and when you open it it has a light so when you apply it to your mouth if you're like in a dark club or something it's lighting up your whole face to show you where to go this next thing I have just discovered is, I don't even know what it's called, True Self Organics Detoxifying Mask. A friend of mine is a makeup artist and on her Instagram she posted a picture of herself with this um, amazing green stuff on her face and she was like, hey, all my fine lines and wrinkles are gone. And I was like, hey, I need that stuff because I have fine lines and wrinkles that I want to be gone. And so she sent me the link and this is the stuff. So I bought it and I love it. It Like I just showed you, it's actually a powder and you mix it with equal parts water when you actually want to use it so it makes a paste on your face. Definitely be a little more on the careful side with it. If you have sensitive skin, don't wear it as long because it is very drying. Um, so you might have an adverse reaction, but it is all natural and cruelty free and all of that good stuff and um, all the ingredients are on the side and there's actually not that many ingredients in it. It's just natural stuff, collagen, clay, good, Ness. We like organic stuff for our faces. Um, so this next thing is Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this is their Beauty Genius. And what Beauty Genius is, is basically a waterproofing gel. So whatever you mix it with, be it your mascara, your eyeshadow, your blush, or whatever you want to apply to your face, it then becomes waterproof. I know in my products I hate video, products I hate video, <laughs> I talked about hating waterproof mascara, mostly because I feel like I haven't found a great formula, but I do do like this stuff over waterproof or over normal mascara it just comes with a little it's like a little plastic or a little like silicone rubbery tip so it's you can't apply it directly to your eye but what you can do is scoop a little bit out and then use the end of a mascara spoolie and then put it over the top of your mascara and it will make it waterproof so this is great if you're gonna be like at the beach all day or whatever and you want to waterproof whatever bit of makeup is on your face it would not be a summer beauty essentials without sunscreen and this is my favorite sunscreen um, it's by Sunology and it is a 
physical sunscreen versus a chemical sunscreen. A lot of chemical sunscreens actually use whatever is in the chemicals to deflect the light. This is physical, so it's got zinc in it, and zinc is actually a pigment that just blocks your skin from the sun. So this is actually a sun block versus a sun screen. And these come in SPF 50. This is the one for your face. They also make one for your body. And it's real thick and it works real well. The thing I also love about this is that you can put your makeup over the top of it and it doesn't react weirdly with your makeup. Some sunscreens, um, especially if they're not made for your face, when you put makeup over the top of them, either your face gets really greasy or they feel really weird or cakey or whatever. But this sunscreen is the jam. Next thing I have is Ole Henriksen Truth Serum Collagen Booster. This kind of goes along with everything else. Um, the more you can boost the collagen in your face, the better your face will be and the younger you will be forever. Maybe not forever, but at least a couple of years. This is a vitamin C complex. It actually smells amazing. It's just very citrusy. It kind of smells like the vitamin C vitamins that you take orally in your mouth hole but it is a serum so this goes on before your moisturizer i like to only use it at night like i said before especially in the summer because you don't want to be putting too much oil and stuff on your face but this is a really nice light serum so that's why i like it for the summer and because it's got such a nice citrusy smell so it just makes you feel really summery my last spring favorite is falling apart is this buxom blush and i gotta say i love 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 buxom blush but I hate, hate, hate how they all fall apart like this. Every single one I have has fallen apart in the same exact way. So I have lids and blushes and stuff all over my makeup bag. But I still use them because I love them. And this is Seduction. You guys have probably seen me use this in my videos. It's what I'm using right now. It also matches the lip gloss I'm wearing. But I love this bright, bright, bright light pink for summertime because it really gives you that natural flush on your cheeks. So that's it. Those are my summer beauty faves. I hope that there were some things in here that you guys liked or maybe that you would like to try. I tried to give you um, an array of price ranges because I know some of you gals are on a budget, which I can totally appreciate. I also know that sometimes I get things for free that are pretty spendy, um, so I try not to just pump those things. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you liked this fun summer video and hopefully you guys have a super awesome, super fun summer. Be sure to wear your sunscreen. That's the most important thing I can tell you for summer. The most important bit of advice. I have eyeliner on my finger. I don't know what's happening in my life, but I know that it's gonna be a good summer and I will see you guys on the next one.